So this is our fifth interview. It's <laughs> the fifth time we're recording an interview since 1997. And I thought it would be great to begin with the beginning. And um, uh, I was wondering, what was your epiphany, how you came to architecture, how it all started? As an architect, you mean? How? <laughs> Because you once mentioned Kikutake yeah, and yeah, that yeah. magazine story. Yes. So mm -hmm. I tell again this. Yes. <laughs> so when I was a child, and by chance I saw my mother's magazine, and then there was Kikutake the Sky House. But of course, the that it was when my around ten years old I was. So I couldn't understand any meaning but just one photo attacked me a lot. And I was so impressed. And then I'm, oh, this should be house, <laughs> a building. And then, but after I forgot, and in Japan, uh, we must decide the direction when we try to enter the university. And I remember when I was a child, I was a big, uh, I was very interested in that building so I decided to try to try and then <laughs> I went I joined the architecture school and uh, soon I found the photo and I realized oh that it, that was a photo what I saw when I was a child and then it make made me uh, more because the architecture is for, was for very for me it's very abstract, but that the photo led me to continue <laughs> to have an uh, interest. And what about you? All right, I know have such a kind of experience that the cinema son told. In my case, I I was an architect when I realized <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any kind of decision making to be an architect. So it just happened? Yeah, it just happened. <laughs> but it would be interesting to hear a little bit more about your Kikotake is, is one great example, but about your, your influences, because I read this text by Edinburgh, where he talks about this idea that in Japan, there is maybe less this idea of young architects having to kill the father. Uh, of a model, <laughs> and that somehow there is more a continuum, no? And he says that there is really a continuum from uh, Mekabe, who was the apprentice of Corbusier and was a Japanese pioneer, and from him to Tange, from Tange uh, to Metabolism and Izozaki and Shinohara generation, uh, to then to Yoito, to you. Mm -hmm. So it would be interesting to hear how you see yourself in this continuum, and who were the architects who have inspired you uh, for your work. I think uh, we have been influenced, influenced by the made so many Japanese architects who are great. But uh, I can, like uh, for instance, the Shinohara and Toyo Ito or Hara, they are all great to me, to us, I think. Now maybe Kikutake, of course, he's one of the greatest architect. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know the Peter Evner's uh, description, but also because I don't know the situation in Europe here, for example. But in Japan also sometimes, of course, young architects criticize the elder generation and uh, we the young architect try to uh, develop the new direction. And sometimes, of course, I'm now elder before. <laughs> so sometimes I also uh, was criticized by the younger uh, architects. So um, sometimes it's not true. But at the same time, for me, at least, uh, I didn't have so much interest <laughs> to kill, <laughs> the more I tried to learn, or I had a lot of influence and I learned a lot. 